Hello friends, once again we are here with a new video on modern age, the quiz on modern age, uh, quiz number 5 in English literature quiz series. So let's start it. The first question is, Kurtz is a fa very famous figure of which novel of the following? So there are different novels uh, mentioned here. First one is Desperate Remedies, Soldiers 3, The Invisible Man and Heart of Darkness. So we have to find out the correct answer friends. So which can be the correct answer? Uh, it is The Heart of Darkness. Yes friends, it's D, the right answer. Kurtz is a character. Ye ek major character hai is novel ka Heart of Darkness ka. The next one is the writer of Of Human Bondage is Somerset Mom, E.M. Foster, Dorothy Richardson or James Joyce. So which can be the right answer friends? So uh, Of Human Bondage jo ek novel hai ye kisne likhi hai that we have to find out. Uh, ye modern is ki bohut uh, popular novel hai and its writer is Somerset Mom. Yes friends. So, Somerset Mom wrote this famous novel of human bondage. The next one is, which novel of Foster is divided into three parts named as Mosque, Caves and Temple? So, options are here. Uh, Howard's End, A Passage to India, Morris, The Long Journey. So, friends, here we have to find out uh, which novel uh, discusses about these three parts uh, which has th these three parts mosque caves and temple ye teen bhag kis mein hai jis mein ye novel di uh, divide ki gayi hai the novelist ke dwara so the right answer is a passage to india passage to india uh, em foster ki bahut popular novel hai jis mein teen alag alag sections hai first one is mosque then caves and temple the next question is identify the novel which was initially titled as Paul Morel. Yes, this was title tha Paul Morel. Who novel is hai? So, it, it is, uh, is it White Peacock or Lady Chatterley's Lover or Sons and Lovers or The Trespassers? So, this is the right answer. Which novel is the title, initial title tha Paul Morel? So, the right answer is C. Yes. Uh, Sons and Lovers, it is the first, uh, <coughs> it has the first title, Paul Morel. This was title tha initially Paul Morel. The next one is, what is the incorrect explanation of the Georgian poetry from the following? So, here we have uh, four different explanations on, on poetry, on Georgian poetry. And we have to find out the incorrect one, not the correct one. Three are correct and one is incorrect. So let's see them. The first one is it was aimed to write poetry that was true to life and without any ornamentation or exaggeration. Then the second is it is extremely sentimental and recalled imagery from the English romanticists. And then see it has parallels with the Scottish Kailyard school of poetry. Then it has a sense of nostalgia and has the British Empire and expansion as a theme of poetry. So what can be the right answer friends? which is not a correct explanation of Georgian poetry. So let's see. It is D, the last one. It has a sense of nostalgia and has the British Empire and expansion as a theme of poetry. So it is not uh, related to Georgian poetry. It defines something else. So friends, ABC is the correct explanation of Georgian poetry. Uh, you can uh, uh, read it again, we can read it again. Uh, it was aimed to write poetry that was true to life and without any ornamentation or exaggeration. There is no ornamentation or exaggeration in this kind of poetry. And it was extremely sentimental and recalled imagery from the English romanticists. It was, uh, this poetry is connected with the romanticists of English literature. And it has parallels with the Scottish Kailyard school of poetry. So, it has a great connection with the school of poetry, we can say Scaliard school of poetry of Scotland. The next one is, which novel of George Orwell is marked as a satire on equality? George Orwell ki wo konsi novel hai, jo ek satire hai, equality ke upar, samanta ke upar, ek katax hum kai sakte hai, vyang hai. So, we have options here, Burmese Days, Animal Farm, 1984, or no man's land 
so we have to find out the right answer it is b animal farm yes friends ye ek novel hai george orwell ke dwara jisme unhone equality ke upar vyang kiya hai satire kiya hai then the next one is who wrote seven types of ambiguity leading the field of literary criticism in the first half of the 20th century who wrote this particular वर्क द लिटररी क्रिटिकल वर्क ये क्रिटिसिजम का एक बहुत बड़ा वर्क माना जाता है फ्रेंड्स और इसके राइटर्स कौन है विलियम एम्सन है या फिर आई रिचर्ड्स है या फिर ए सी ब्रैडली है और टी एस एलियोट है हु इज दैट क्रिटिक हु रॉट दिस बुक सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ एम्बिग्विटी ही इज विलियम एम्पसन विलियम एम्पसन हिमसेल्फ रॉट दिस बुक सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ एम्बिग्विटी एंड इट इज द पॉपुलर बुक ऑफ ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी लिटररी क्रिटिसिजम इन इंग्लिश द नेक्स्ट वन इज हु पॉपुलराइज द टर्म ऑब्जेक्टिव कोरिलेटिव इन हिज राइटिंग्स तो ऑप्शन आर एफ आर लेविस आई आर रिचर्ड्स टी एस एलियोट और विलियम एम्पसन ऑब्जेक्टिव कोरिलेटिव एक ऐसा टर्म एक फ्रेज है जो शेक्सपियर के बारे में दिया गया है बट किसने दिया है उस किसने पॉपुलराइज किया है इसको सो so, It was popularized by T. S. Eliot. Yes, T. S. Eliot ने इसको popularize किया था उसकी writings में और ये Shakespeare के बारे में है objective correlative, the problem of objective correlative. The next is who inaugurated the genre, the campus novel, which is also known as the university novel. Campus novel जो एक form है writing novel का वो उसको यूनिवर्सिटी नॉवल भी कहा जाता है हु इनोग्रेटेड दिस जोनरा दिस फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग नॉवल वी हैव ऑप्शंस एंथोनी बर्गीज किंग्सले एमिस ग्रेहम ग्रीन और एल्डोस हक्सले सो हु इज अ पर्टिकुलर राइटर हु इनोग्रेटेड दिस वन सो इट इज बी किंग्सले एमिस किंग्सले एमिस वॉज द पर्सन हु इनोग्रेटेड दिस जोनरा दिस फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग नॉवल विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज यूनिवर्सिटी नॉवल so campus novel is equal to university novel that we have to remember and the last question of this video which literary work of ts eliot was edited by ezra pound there is one particular work very famous and popular work by ts eliot which was edited by ezra pound a collaboration work we can say options are here the westland gerontion aerial poems or as wednesday so uh, which can be the right answer friends it is the wasteland wasteland ek aisa work hai ts eliot ka jo bahut hi popular hai aur isko uh, iska iske upar thoda kaam kiya tha ezra pound ne bhi ek collaborative work tha ye edited by ezra pound सो so फ्रेंड आज हमने दस अलग अलग क्वेश्चंस के बारे में सीखा है दस अलग अलग टॉपिक्स उसमें थे पॉइंट्स भी थे और कुछ डिटेल्ड आइडियाज़ भी थे और इस वीडियो में मैंने ये थोड़ा अटेम्प्ट किया है थोड़ा ट्राई किया है कि आपको डिटेल में कुछ बताओ और अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो यू कैन शेयर इट यू कैन लाइक इट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर फर्दर वीडियोज़ फॉर न्यू वीडियोज़ ऑन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर मेरा हमेशा यही प्रयत्न रहेगा प्रयास रहेगा कि मैं डिटेल में एक्सप्लेनेशन के साथ हिंदी में एक्सप्लेनेशन के साथ आपको किसी भी वर्क के बारे में बताओ जिससे ये इजीली रिमेंबर हो जाए हमको ओके फ्रेंड्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे एंड वी एंड हियर थैंक्स थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग